Hi, this is Mrs. A of Math A Matic. Today, you're going to learn about the characteristic of the graph of quadratic functions. The quadratic function in general form is f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are real numbers. b and c can be 0 but not a. Now, we're going to learn about the characteristics of quadratic function and its graph. So I have here f of x is equal to x squared. Now I have here the table of values of this uh, equation. So simply you're going to assign value of values of x that is uh, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then just change this values of x. Here, instead of x, you write negative 3, then square it, that is 9. Negative 2 squared, that is 4. Negative 1 squared, 1. That's how this table of values. If you don't know how to uh, construct table of values, I have video on this. Now, this is now the graph of quadratic uh, function f of x is equal to x squared. It is a parabola that opens upward okay now the vertex of this graph is here at 0 0 which is the minimum point v is at 0 0 v means the vertex minimum point because the rest of the graphs going upward which means this is the lowest point now, the x-intercepts are the points which the graph intersect the x-axis. So, what, at what point does uh, the graph intersect the x-axis? This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. It intersect at 0, 0. So, at point 0, 0. Now, the y-intercepts are the points which the graph intersect the y-axis. So, this is the y-axis. The graph also intersect at 0, 0 or y is equal to 0, x intercepts, x is equal to 0. And we have this axis of symmetry. What do you mean by axis of symmetry? It is a vertical line that split the graph into like a mirror image. It divides into two. So this one, the y-axis now is the axis of symmetry. And that is equal to? At what point the axis of symmetry pass the x-axis? It's also at point 0. So x is 0. Now, on this side, I have here f of x is equal to negative x squared. So the difference is here a is positive 1, while here a is negative. So what would be the graph look like? Or, uh, yeah, what would be the graph looks like? Okay, so we have here the graph or the parabola opens downward so negative so if it is negative the graph opens downward and the vertex still at 0 0 and that point now the vertex is the maximum point why because the rest of the graph or the rest of the graph going down, so it means the points here are lower than this uh, vertex point. And the x-intercepts are the same. The graph crosses the x-axis at 0, 0. And the y-intercept also at 0, 0. And the axis of symmetry is still the y-axis. This one is the axis of symmetry. Again, it's a vertical line that split the graph into a two or a mirror image. And that is x at x is equal to 0. Okay, now, what about if I have f of x is equal to x squared plus 2? So you notice I just add 2 from the previous example. So what would be the graph looks like? So I have here again table of values. So from the previous table of values, simply I just I just added 2. So negative 3 squared, that is 9, plus 2, that is 11. Negative 2 squared, that is 4, plus 2, that is 6. So that's how you're going to get the value of y. And the graph now is 
like this. I use GeoGebra graphing calculator here. You can download it if you need. So here, look at now the vertex. So the parabola opens upward and the vertex now is at what point? The vertex is at 0, 2. It moves uh, 2 units up. Which means that this value of C here, or 2, affects the vertex. And that is now the minimum point. The vertex is the minimum point. And the axis of symmetry is still the horizon, uh, the vertical line, which is the uh, y-axis. And that is x is equal to 0 because it crosses the x-axis at 0. And you notice the graph didn't uh, cross the x-axis. It's ab above the x-axis. But we have the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 2. Or as point, it is 0, 2 here. Okay, now, if we're going to compare that with the previous graph that we have, look at this. This is the, uh, the vertex is at 0, 0. And when I added 2, it uh, went up 2 units. So here, which means if this is minus 2, means this vertex will go down 2 units. Okay, you will see that in uh, the rest of the lessons. Okay, now, I have here f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 2. So this is now complete, the general form. But here I have minus 2. Now, the table of values here, same thing that what you're going to do. We are not focused on constructing table of values here. I already... I have a video on how to construct table of values. What I want to show here to you is just the characteristics of the graph or um, presenting the quadratic function through its graph. So here, but still, how to solve for y, simply you're just going to substitute or replace x by these uh, values of x that you assign, you assign or I assigned here. So now, the graph, if we're going to plot this point, this is now the graph looks like here. The vertex now is not at 0, 0. It's mo it moved down 2 units. Actually, from the origin, it moves 2 units down, but it's not here. It's on... Uh, negative 1, negative 3. Okay, negative 1, negative 3. So, this is the vertex. But anyway, still, it opens upward because A is positive. So, if it's positive here, opens upward. And the vertex at negative 1, negative 3. And that is the minimum point. But, the axis of symmetry here is now is no longer the y axis so the axis of symmetry here passes through x axis at negative 1 so that is now x is equal to negative 1 and then the x intercepts you notice the graph crosses the x axis at two points here and here so, we have x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to positive 1. Negative 3, positive 1 here. Or as a point, we have uh, zero, uh, negative 3, 0 and 1, 0. And the y-intercept is equal to negative 2. Here, it crosses the y-axis. Ah, no. Yes, y-axis at negative 2. As a point, it is 0, negative 2. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my video, and like if you like it. And 
uh, watch for my incoming videos about graphing. Bye-bye. See you on the next one.